after me? Yes. What is up the world? It's your friendly neighborhood Slip Gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things with the Ark Halloween Special Part 2. You guys may have noticed that the Ark Halloween Special Part 2, or the, well, the last episode was out, marked Season 2 Halloween Special 1, and this is marked Season 2 Halloween Special 2, and that has to do with the whole vacation thing and time travel and all of that. So I'm actually going to explain to you in a vlog that's going to be coming up, so just stay tuned for all of that. So this is the Halloween Special Part 2, peeps, and there's so much new cool stuff that they've added they add, we had all these pumpkins. I went around and grabbed a huge amount of pumpkins. Here's all my pumpkins. These are heavy, by the way. 400 weight for 100 pumpkins. But, um, and I made some of the jack-o'-lanterns. Pretty cool, huh? Really easy to do. All you do is place your pumpkin, and then you just take your paintbrush, like a so, and then you just go in and paint your pumpkin. It's that easy. Let's give this guy eyebrows. <laughs> Evil eyebrows. And then, see, that was pretty much the most amazing thing ever. He needs an eyebrow trim. But there you can see that that happened, and this happened. So crazy, right? And so much other cool stuff and things, too, we're going to talk about. Um, but I want to start off, as I always do, by saying thank you guys so much for all your likes and support. It uh, really means a lot to me, and especially now that we've lost Wi-Fi and y 2 in the Dodo Rex battle. Uh, that Dodo Rex, by the way, we're learning, has like 666,666 hit points. It is amazingly, amazingly strong. Now, have you healed up since the battle? He's still not even at full health. I bet we're out of meat, too. I came over and brought a ton over, and I bet he's gone through it all. Oh, no, he has meat. So he's just slowly regaining hit points and still hasn't even got up to... And he's only got 17,000. But that's since yesterday. The battle's still been going on. Or the ba after the battle, his internal battle's been going on. Now that Wi-Fi and y 2 are dead... So sad. We're going to have to have a ceremony for him later. But we do have the cool skeletal Bronto costume. And we do have the one for Brian. And he scared Zul'jin to death. And it was some other cool stuff that went on as well. You may see some stuff around that you don't recognize yet as well. So uh, don't. You'll see. It'll be coming up. They changed the drums. So now the sound activation is client side. So it's super fast. It's not like instant though. It's pretty cool though. So really kind of a fun thing you can do as well. And they added a couple other new things too that I want to show you guys. They added this guy right here, trophy wall mount. Now really expensive actually. It costs, what is it, 80 cementing paste? And 200, well the 200 wood isn't bad, but the 80 cementing paste is kind of rough so you got to be careful about that. The trophy wall mount. Now, if you have a fancy schmancy base like I do, and you don't have any walls, you're going to be in deep trouble with the trophy wall mount. Um, but we can go ahead and squirt one right over here, it looks like. Are you ready? Now that it's the care if we stop, we have a trophy wall mount. Let's access its inventory, and let's see what we can stick in here. Oh, we can't stick this guy in here, can we? What? The Rex bone skin helmet doesn't go in there? This doesn't go in there? I thought those went in there. What the crap? And we're back. Um, you know, I'd done some reading, and I had seen that you could put a T-Rex skull in here. And I thought, I assumed that it was just the skull that you get here. It was just, I assumed that it was the T-Rex the bone skin helmet, that it would just like be have a dual use. And then you could do the track helmet too. But that wasn't the case. It looks like that there's actually um, a Broodmother trophy that fits in here. And there's a, a Rex um, Apex, like a Alpha T-Rex uh, trophy that fits in there. But I haven't got them yet. So I'm assuming that they're new or something like that. But they're it. Now, this should work. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try it out. So um, we've made one of the, what are they even called now? Just to see trophy bases. Let's just squirt it down right here. Nail the dice that can't be stopped. I went to the Chitin Cave and I grabbed one of these bad boys, Artifact of the Clever. <laughs> what the crap, Ark? What is happening in there? There we go. So <laughs> that was my fault, not Ark's fault. So, oh, that looks pretty cool. Let's take a look here really quickly. And if we turn our light shafts on to one, I bet it's bloom quality. There we go. You get this cool light that comes off of it. Really, really neat. And it looks really great. Um, and you can do any of the artifacts that are in there. And, of course, your trophies from if you get survival of the fittest stuff and things as well. So kind of a cool thing that we've added in. A bunch of neat stuff. 
Um, the Dota Rex battle was kind of intense. It was pretty, pretty crazy. Those are kind of the things, I think, there's a couple other things. Those are the things that I wanted to show you right now that you can do. So I'm really excited to make like a trophy room or something like that. That's going to be really, really cool. Um, other than that, do I have anything else in my inventory we need to talk about? I don't think so. Those were all the things. So um, I do want to fly up here real quick because I have made some stuff over in our mortar and pestle up in this Italy area. We have some bug repellents. And I talked to Mazion and sa said to him, hey, Mazion, and he was like, hey. And I was like, dude, we should go try to tame a bat and spider. Because that's going to be pretty cool. Pretty unbelievably fun and cool. And he said, we should do that, man. And I was like, yeah, man, let's do that. So I'm going to go meet up with Maz, and we're going to get a new spider, hopefully, and a new bat tamed up. So I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back. There's a dead brontosaurus and a maze on here. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? Not much. Have you seen these guys yet? No, this is my first look at it. I haven't seen anything. They're pretty crazy. They don't even have a butt cloaca. We're going to attack it? Yep, oh. he's dead. He's we dead. broke it. He's, we broke it. Yeah, he's gone. And I got a, I got a present for you now. Let's fly wow. over here, and I'll give it to you. Okay. I think what's cool looking. They are pretty cool, man. There's one for the trike. There's one for the carno. Uh, one for the raptor. But I'll stick it on your bird here. Oh crap! I think it's in my. It's in my dino inventory. But uh, yeah, I'll squirt it in here for you. There at the bottom, you can see it, man. Pretty cool. Bone, bro, bone Bronto costume. What the? To put yeah. it on my Bronto? Yeah, man. You'll have to put it on your Bronto. Later on, you can check it out. Sounds awesome. But there are supposed to be spiders and bats around. Me and Zul'jin kind of played around with it yesterday a little bit. They're supposed to be tameable. So I'm interested in trying to do that, man. I think we should try to tame a spider. Yeah, I'm down. I just saw him uh, up the beach near Poop City. All right. So let's try to do this. Um... I'm wondering if outside, I guess let's try to do like an outside tame. I don't know. They, I've never tried to tame anything like this, like a spider with meat that is a passive, that's not really a passive tame. I guess it is a passive tame. This is going to be tricky, man. Yeah, I agree. Uh, do we know if they can be picked up? Well, yeah, the spiders can't be, the bats can't. See, like there's a bat right there. But like, I mean, how could you tame it? Oh, huh. you see, he's peeved off of me. You want to yeah, go? Gonna, he's biting. You want to go? <laughs> Can't even Super hit the damn thing. I'll, I'll stand still and Dude, then I can't no, even no, hit it. No, you stand still. All right, I'll stand still. It's on you. You stand still. No, it's on me. So no, it's you, on you. You, you stand it. still. Right. This Man. is so great. This is the, the best on we a kill it. ever. <laughs> we got it. So I'm thinking maybe we could like head into one of the caves to try one of those guys, but let's cut, head down the beach here and take a look for a spider to tame. Sounds good. All right, BRBs, beep. And we're back with a couple of trapped spiders down over here with some bug repellent on. Oh, 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 oh this is not good. Uh, You're probably going to need to go grab me with an RG. Is it hitting you? Oh, no, he bounced me out. He bounced me out. So, I was under the impression the bug repellent was supposed to work on these guys. Uh. It doesn't it seem work. to work. It doesn't <laughs> seem to really repel him very much. He seems to be pretty peeved off of me. Now, it, now, when it first came out, it didn't work on, on these guys. And then last night, I think in the Skype chat, a bunch of people were talking about it and they were saying, get bug repellent. And so I was like, oh, maybe they changed it. Maybe it does work. Um. But it doesn't seem to. And I don't think this is a good spot for us to try to tame this guy. Like, I don't think I can get in there to get to do anything. And I'm not seeing anything, like, as far as, um, there being, like, a press E to do anything, or... Do you think it's, like, a Gigantopithecus, where if you're behind him, they don't get aggroed? I don't know. Maybe. I'm stuck again, though. This is I'm a really in. bad spot for this guy. Oh, I got the spider, not Well, you. that's good. That works. That'll work out. You know, and I can just break my way out of here. Um, I had to drop my spider off the edge because it was continuing to destroy boots. I just uh, kept going after him over and over again. So oh, I, I passed mine out. Off the... Whoa. Oh, you did? Yeah, I passed out from Topor. So, so good. 
So that was kind of weird. Maybe we can take a minute and try to like figure out exactly how we should be doing this, and then we'll be RBs. But like a a, a sledgehammer, straightforward frontal assault doesn't seem to be working. No good. All right, we'll be RBs, peeps, and we're back. Mazion has brought a spider up to our amazing, his amazing special spider taming spot. Built this a while ago for wolves and mammoth. All right, so. We're trying to find some information about this. Keep in mind, by the time this video posts, everybody will probably know how to do this. But this is our first time. And everyone's saying using bug, use bug repellent. There he is right there. And they're saying it's kind of like a giganto team. Kind of. Where we've got to be, like, skilled and stealthy and go up to it and squirt meat in its butt. Oh, I made it mad. Yeah, you can walk right up to it. You just can't touch it with your body. All right, so now that you've made it mad, we need to go, like, 74 miles away. Doing it. Did, did you use your bug repellent on it? I, I used it, yep, and I, I walked right up near it, and there was no issue. But uh, when I got a little too close to it, it was it was not happy. Okay. So let's fly away and reset, and then we'll be our bees. All right. I fed it, and then it got peeved off of me. But I fed it one time, and I fed it regular meat... And I can tell you, the taming meter looks terrible. And it also looks like the taming meter may have reset. No, it still has its tame, even though... Oh, oh. Oh, it can't get out the doorway. It can't get out the doorway. <laughs> All right, so I took more bug repellent. It's right over here? Yeah, it's right in front of you. Okay. See and... Him? Yep. I got the prime meat, my zero slot. Put it in his butt. Put it in his butt. Oh, he's uh, he's not, he's not taking anything. And he aggroed. I think he's going after Blackwing face. Yeah, he aggroed to your guy. So, by the way, also they can walk through doorways. I think we already established that though. Crap, where did um, he go? Oh. He's outside. Yeah, they can walk through doorways, but as far as like if it's like a giganto, I don't think it has like a like a I don't think it's the same, man. I don't think it's like the AOE, like if you get behind it it won't see you. Like it seems to aggro no matter what. And I don't know. This we're reading all these posts about this bug repellent working, but I don't see that as the case. Maybe it's cuz we have our RGs around. Yeah, maybe either it's like they were in proximity during the aggro cuz you know how um when you're trying to tame something, it'll randomly attack your RG. Yeah. Maybe it has something to oh, do with that. Oh, 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 it, it crawled out and came and got me again. So we're oh, gonna yeah. have to, we're gonna have to replace the, or we're gonna have to put doors on there at the very least. And I lost it. Did you pick it up? Okay. I do have it. it so we're uh, gonna... just hit, it's hitting me. Yeah, they can hit you sometimes when, they, when you're carrying them. Um, and let's take a look really quick at its taming meter. Well, it won't have one because it's, Aggroed. This is really, really tough. His butt is towards you. All right, I gotta make sure the spoiled meat's in my zero slot. Going in. Trying. Oh, it said feed, and then it got mad. Close the door. Was it amazing? <laughs> I I didn't get to feed it because it got mad. Oh. So that's the thing is like they say it's like a giganto tame, but I mean you walked in for an instant, tried to feed it, and it instantly aggroed you while you had bug repellent on. Right. So I, I didn't get too close. Like I, I uh, should yeah. should have been out of range far enough. I saw you. Like so there's the only thing I can think of is that like because I don't know. Uh we've flown so far away from this as to make sure we're we're re resetting any sort of aggro that it has. Um I think Maz, I flew out to the water. Maz flew out to the volcano and back. So I, I'm not sure, man. Like, I'm not sure what, you know, I feel like we're doing something wrong, but I kind of can't figure out what it is. The big pain in the butt's what it is. Yeah, it seems to be really tough, but um, I want to try to do it. And I guess we'll just keep trying. Um, Yeah, sounds like a plan, man. All right. You got your spoiled meat. You got your repellent on. We're going to treat this like a giganto. All right. It looks like it's not aggro to anything. 
It is not. It is just sitting there. Okay. I'm going to feed it. I think I fed it. I I think it might have turned around before I could. Okay, no, it doesn't say feed me, and it's not mad. Okay, so you have spoiled meat? Yep, but I did not feed it. Because it's not giving you the press E to feed? There you go. Oh, yeah, it is. You have to get really close. I fed it. And then, get out of there, get out of there! It's not mad. Oh my god, it did work! It's just so, the, I think it was the confined area of the, the taming confined, box. They don't like small spaces. <laughs> they're claustrophobic. Right, or it's really hard to get behind them when they're sideways in the, next to a wall. Yeah, but it seemed like when we were doing it, like... Oh! He, like, instantly aggroed to my bird. He likes your bird. Oh, dude, did you see that? That's, like, definite scientific proof. Yeah. That's he, why I wanted to come in without my bird this time. Yeah, that's a good call, man. But so he they do not like any sort of so and the aggro range was really far. Like it was a really long way. Now, with the spoiled meat, like, how good was it, do you think? As far as the taming effectiveness? Was it like a sliver or like two slivers? I'm coming to look right now. It was it was about a it, about a tenth, maybe a maybe a fifteenth. And I so, just Okay. So, like, the width of a dime, or, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say, man. So, if it was, like, cherries... Oh, wait, is he mad at me? Yes. Oh, he's mad at me. Why you is he not mad at me? You do not have insect repellent on, do you? No, I do not. He's mad because it's got a gigantic aggro range, apparently. And it will remain mad at you until you get out of range. All right, I'm running. I'm running! Is he still after me? Yes. Is it still after me? Yes. Is it still after me? Yes. <laughs> Is it still after me? No. Okay. Each feeding is about, I'd say, one twentieth of the bar, if that gives you any kind of idea. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. I just want to try to get up and see the taming-ness. And keep in mind, this is on a level 16. And we have jacked up taming rates. That's not bad, though. That's not bad. The regular meat, I used regular meat on it, and it was like a sliver. So the the spoiled meat is definitely working better. This is looking like we are actually might, might actually do this. My God, we're going to tame a spider. I know. It's kind of amazing. Amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Don't let him see you. All right, I'm going to try to put meat in his butt. Do it. I did it. Oh, I did it. I, I shoved it right in there. I watched, and it, it kind of winced as you did yeah, it. it was like, I Rrr. feel like you didn't really, wasn't ready for my whole hand and my and the meat in the hand to be up in there. No. Don't get him peeved off. This is so much better than the containment thing. Like, this does work exactly like a Giganto. Um, it does feel oh. exactly like that. So this is way easier, man. I fed it again. You really, it looked like you punched meat into its butt. I know, it's weird. It <laughs> makes me feel like it's aggroed right after. Yeah, because like, Ugh! right. Like, if you tried to put meat in my butt, I would probably aggro. Oh, definitely. You would yeah, aggro all I would day. get aggro. Really aggroed. I mean, I that one time in 92 with that girl, I mean. I'm going to try again here. <laughs> I did it. I did it. You got mad. Yeah, I did. All right. So let's do this for a minute and then BRBs when we have a tamed spider. Yay! 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 Down it! Is it done? Yes! I'm coming! Uranio level 22! Now the days that can't be stopped! We got a Spider Man! Spider Man? We got a Spider Man! He and sh Is it a she or a lady dude or what is it? Not available. <laughs> not, not applicable. <laughs> How do we know what kind of voice to give it? Um, it kind of talks like this. <laughs> like Charlotte from Charlotte's Web? It's right. I'm a spider. That is, and I am going to eat your face. Now that's like... I think I spelled Charlotte wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I most uh, certainly yeah. did. Yeah, a little bit. All right, so if you're looking for the saddle in your engrams, by the way, don't search for spider. Search for... Um, 
Arenio, and it is what? 18 Engram points, and then that saddle requires 260 hide, 140 fiber, 100 keratin. Oh, wait, we gotta look at the stats of this guy. Are oh, you we make didn't a saddle? look at the stats? I was, I don't have it learned. I was gonna get you the materials for the saddle. Oh, I'm gonna bring the spider raid over here, and then we can do that, man. We'll learn the nice. saddle and play around them a little bit. Sounds fun. Now, I, I still don't know if the bug repellent did anything. I, I don't know. You were well, saying, like, Go ahead. But that one, that one time you came over, you you were, I mean, you were pretty far out of range. I think it has a great aggro range, and it makes it a little bit kind of wonky to tell what's going on. Yeah, it's hard. Um, but I think if you have the bug repellent on, I think it's definitely doing something. Um, so we can maybe. test it with a different one. Yeah, we could, we could try. But um, let's take a look at stats: two hundred health, one hundred and seventy stamina, one hundred weight. 222 melee damage, 167 movement speed. So It's a wimp. It's pretty much a big wimp. Wait, it isn't even going to be able to carry us. I don't think it will. So we'll have to take um, off all our clothes. So what's the point naked. of the saddle? Um, let's, let's ride it naked for fun. Do you have the saddle stuff? Uh, I know, I remember hide and is it all and, in uh, here chitin. or where's all your stuff? I'm putting the I'm putting it in the smithy. Okay. Got two, 200 chitin, a bunch of hides. I need and, uh, Okay, you need fibers. Hide. Bam, bam. Let's see here. All right, I got it. It's on the way. We're making cool. it. It's happening. All right, I'm gonna go transfer all my items into one of these big vaults. <laughs> all right, let's take a look here. I want to try to ride it, even though it's no possible way I could ride it. And there's this little saddle. Oh yeah, I'm on it. Where are you? It's foggy. I'm just sitting on it. It can't oh, move wow. at all. Even when you're naked, I I think it might be too much weight. Whoa, oh, you're on it! All right, I got Can a T. Wa I want to walk up walls. I wish you could walk up walls. That'd be cool. Give it to me. I want it now. Is all this stuff going in here? I'm just checking. All right, <gasps> dude. Let me say. Oh, do it. it. It's it's a cool it's a cool down. I can't do it again right now. I'm pre I'm spamming it. Here it goes. Oh <laughs> baby, it squirts Woo. out stuff. Are you light enough to ride it yet? You Let got all your armor on. Oh crap, crap. You got to take that off. I forgot. Tiny it's to get so made. heavy. There we go. I'm off. All right, let me try this thing out. Oh, oh yeah! Oh Jesus! Wait, oh, walk, walk. I'm out of stamina again? already. You you walked under me and I went over you. Um, you <laughs> what know what we need what? is we need rotten meat on this bad boy. Oh really? That's well, true. Well, it needs food, right? Right. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, oh sweet! Oh. All kinds all around here. Well, we can only give it like a half oh, of that's one. That's right. That's right. You could probably give it a hole. You only weigh... Well, no, man, I don't know. <laughs> All right. I weigh 10. How much do you weigh? <laughs> uh, I don't know. How much do Is I it weigh? faux pas to ask an arc character how much they weigh? I weigh zero. You weigh zero? How do I, mean, I weigh 10? it says zero. Ten? Oh, it's because I've got, I've got meat on me. I will so weigh 12. It weighs 12.3. So it's just like a scorpion. It can turn 180 degrees, which is cool. Right mouse button is the super lunge. And then, no, that's left mouse button. Left mouse yeah. button is the, eh, eh, eh. Let me goo on you. You, you kind of, it's weird. When it's like that, you kind of look like the head of the spider. It's like, kind of like a centaur, but made of tiny and a spider. Yeah. And you notice when you run on it, its butt like goes way up. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Can you walk up walls? Man. Oh, that would be so ma- Oh! Oh! <laughs> You're going down. Oh, he doesn't like that at all. What's happening? No, this is Did bad. It. Why are you doing that, spider? Can we jump? No jumping. Spiders jump like bosses. I don't know why they didn't add that. Yeah, I know. Well, we're a little bit under the world. This is a perfect screenshot. Oh, you are? <laughs> yeah, it looks like for me that we're under the world. Do you see it attacking, too? <laughs> When when we just uh, 
Like it was attacking sometimes. It was kind of weird. The, there's dymos that fly around here, but it, it didn't like get it. Well, the thing's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, don't I look like the head of the spider? <laughs> it does. It looks like you're like a you got a spider body. It's weird, huh? <laughs> and we're back. And we're moving all strange. What am I doing? <laughs> Stop! Hammer time! Is that what you're doing? Something like that. And we're back with Charlotte spelled the right way. Oh, and you spelled it? <laughs> I didn't see that you changed it. We changed it. And these guys, you guys, you gotta be really careful. They're really, really wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> we took it over and we're playing with it a little bit and it was an Onik. And, uh, it was like a, what was it, level 40 Onik, I think? Something like that. Yeah, and I was like, kill it! Kill the Onyx! Kill it! Because it was like <laughs> annihilating the spider. It was killing Charlotte. She was so wimpy. But um, we upped her weight a little bit. She is pretty cool and fun. <laughs> nice! She squirts out juice everywhere. It's weird. And at first, kind of difficult to tame, but really, at the end of the day, it was just like a Giganto. You just can't pen him up. Just like you can't pen up a Mesopithecus... Mesopithecus... Mesopithecus, and you can't tame up a Giganto either, really. It just doesn't well, work can, that well. You can wipe up a Mesopithecus. Yeah, a Mesopithecus. <laughs> wipe up your Mesopithecus. That's right. You're so fun. In the bathroom. In the poop bathroom. In the poop. But yeah, all you gotta do is just be really careful and shove stuff up their butts, and you're totally good to go, peeps. I don't see it's Cloaca. I don't know if it has one. It's got a stinger. Are we shoving it in the stinger? It looks like it's pretty much... Pretty compact in there and pretty, yeah. But, and it doesn't look like we can mate them. But still pretty crazy. And I couldn't imagine doing a bat, dude. I think the Onik would just be ridiculously tough. I think it'll be fun. I mean, it's, you know, when we got to the point in this game where it's really easy for us to tame most things. I mean, even like a Rex or a Spino, we're just like, oh, stand on a hill and shoot it in the face. You know, right. no problem. But it, it was, this gives, you know... A little bit more of a challenge for us. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a challenge. It's pretty cool. And I feel like I've challenged, I'm challenged out. So, <laughs> that's gonna be it for today, peeps! Thanks for hanging out, Maz. I had a great time. Me too, Slipgator. Thanks for hanging out, man. And we got a cool spider. But that's gonna be it for today, peeps. If you liked the video, whoa! Please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit.